when you want to upload a video, then go to the right top corner over here, then click on create this camera icon over here and then select upload video. Then it will take you to YouTube studio and it automatically shows you the upload dialog. You can either click here to select a file from your hard disk or you can drag and drop a file from Finder for example or Explorer. Now the file starts uploading and you can see the upload process on the bottom of your screen. The first thing you can fill out is your title. Make a title that is first of all enticing to click and second of all something that viewers actually search for. And if you want to know what people are actually searching for you can use the autocomplete function of YouTube search. For example, how to get more views on YouTube. It's the first search result over here. How to get more views on YouTube. But to give it a little bit more reason to click, this is a study of how some of my videos exploded on my DJ channel. This video got me 700 views. You have 100 characters available for your title. However, your title is cut off after about 45 characters. So keep it short. In this case, 49 characters. It is probably cut off on YouTube Home and YouTube Suggested. You want the title to be short and punchy so YouTube viewers know immediately what the video is about. Over here is the video description. So describe what your video is about. This gives the algorithm a much better understanding what your video is about so it can rank you in YouTube search. With video descriptions you have the part above the fold that is the part that you see over here and you have the part below the fold and that is everything that you see when you click on show more. The part above the fold has the highest weight for the algorithm so use your keywords, use the words that people are actually searching for on YouTube. Use that in the upper part of your video description and a big part of the part above the fold is also showing up in YouTube search. So give viewers an extra incentive to click on your video instead of the competition. You can also make viewers want to watch multiple of your videos so therefore I would advise you to add also a link to one of your other videos on your YouTube channel. And then below the fold continue describing the contents of your video for the algorithm. Then below that you can add some extra links to your videos for example, some extra links to your products. You can also add a table of contents with some timestamps so viewers can skip directly to the parts of the video that they like. And you can also add your socials for example and an extra description about you or the channel. Then over here you can upload a custom thumbnail. Right now there are three little boxes over here that will show previews once the processing of your video is finished. But I would highly recommend to design a custom thumbnail so you can give viewers a reason to click on your video. So let's click on upload thumbnail, select our thumbnail from our hard drive. Then over here you can select a playlist. In this case this is a brand new channel that I created for the purpose of this tutorial. So I have no playlists here. I click on create playlist. Now I can create a new playlist. For example how to get views on YouTube. Now this playlist is set to public so everybody can see it on YouTube. When you set it to private only you can see it on YouTube. When you set it to unlisted nobody can see the playlist unless you have that link to that playlist. In this case public is fine and I click on create. And now I have the ability to check this playlist and click on done. Then the next item over here is the audience. You have to select if your video is specifically targeted towards children. If yes, then check yes. If it is not targeted towards children, so a broad audience, then click on no, it is not made for kids. Over here you have the header age restriction. If your video is for a more mature audience, you have to check this. But that means that you can't, for example, have ads on your videos. But this video is not age restricted, so I select no. Then over here, show more. And there are some important options over here. Under paid promotion, you can find the checkbox, my video contains paid promotion. If you do a sponsorship or you get any form of money for your YouTube video, for example, with affiliate links, you have to check this checkbox. Then over here, you can select if you want automatic chapters in your video, yes or no. In other words, do you want the algorithm to decide where your chapters are in your video? I would highly recommend to uncheck this checkbox and add those timestamps like I showed you earlier manually. Simply because you now have more control over what the chapter names are and where those chapters go in your video. Then over here, tags. Tags are only useful for misspelled words. Otherwise, tags have absolutely no meaning on YouTube whatsoever anymore. In order for the algorithm to know what language is spoken in the video so it can recognize it for YouTube search and for the subtitles, you have to fill out the language over here. In my case, my video is in English, so I selected English. Recording date, recording location is not important. 
Then over here under license, you can select if you want to have a standard YouTube license, which means that you claim the copyrights on your own material. When you select Creative Commons, then you give away all your copyrights and everybody can use your material on YouTube. If you want to allow people to embed your video in a website, for example, you have to check this option. If you want YouTube to give a notification to your subscribers, then check this option over here. If you want to allow people to use the audio of your YouTube video in their YouTube shorts, then you have to select this option, otherwise uncheck it. Then over here, category, YouTube stated a couple of times that they don't look at the category anymore and that they let the algorithm decide in which category your video is so this option is not important then over here you can select what you want to do with comments you can allow all comments which I would not recommend you to do let YouTube automatically decide to hold potentially inappropriate comments or you can select disable if you don't want comments at all and stop if you want to publish the video now right away let's take a look at some other options and then I'll come back to how you should publish your video the upload process works in a couple of stages you can find these stages on the top of the screen it says details, video elements, checks and visibility over here. You can go to the next tab by clicking on next and then you can find three options over here. If this screen is grayed out, you have to wait until the processing of the SD version is finished. If you selected the language, then you can add subtitles. Otherwise, this option is grayed out. If I want to add subtitles, I can click on add. I don't want to go too deep into subtitles here, but you can upload the file, let YouTube automatically sync it and type in the subtitles manually. But for now, I close this dialog and click on the X over here. The second option here is to add an end screen an end screen is a screen of clickable elements at the end of your video. I would recommend you to do that, so click on add over here. I can add an element by clicking on plus element or I can choose one of the templates over here. What I would recommend you to do is add only one element and that is the next video that you want viewers to watch. So think about what is the most logic video for viewers to watch next after they've watched your current video. To add a video, click on plus element. Then over here you have a couple of options, click on video then I have three options most recent upload don't do that best for viewer don't do that but choose a specific video and now I can select from all the videos that I've uploaded in the past the video that I want to refer to so I click on this one and now this is added to my end screen and make that element as large as possible and you can move this around if you want. Technically, your end screen can be 20 seconds long. I don't recommend you to do that because the end screen is a signal to viewers that your video is over and you want to keep viewers as long as possible in your video. So take the last five to 10 seconds or so. And at the end of the video, do a very strong call to action for viewers to watch the next video, like I do in this video over here. Videos. I'll show you step by step how to do that in this video right here. After you've referred viewers to the other video, leave a little bit of time in your end screen for viewers to hover over that element and click that element in this video right here. Thank you for tuning in and subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. When I'm happy, I click on save. Then the last option over here is to add cards. Cards are those eye icon thingies in the right top corner of your screen. I wouldn't recommend to do that because those cards are audience retention killers. And again, you want to keep viewers as long as possible in your video. If you still want to add cards, click on add and now you can add a video, for example, like this video over here. And then I click on save. Then let's go to the next tab over here. That is checks. Checks has everything to do with copyright. YouTube has a gigantic library of copyrighted material, for example, movies and music. If it doesn't find a match between the copyrighted material and your video, you will get a check mark over here. That the check mark is here doesn't mean that you don't have copyright violations in your video. It only means that YouTube can't find it. A copyright owner can always claim his copyrighted material after you've uploaded the video. To go to the last tab, click on next and that's visibility. Again, there are three visibility options over here, private, unlisted and public. And just like we had with playlist, a private video is only available to me and the persons that I invite with share privately. Public is available to everybody. So every video that you see on home search and suggested, those are all public videos. And an unlisted video is only available when someone has a link to the video. I would always recommend to upload your video as private. So YouTube has enough time to process the video. If you would release the video immediately, then for the first hours, your video is only available in a low resolution like 360p or maybe 1080p when you're lucky. 
If that happens, it will fix itself automatically. So don't worry about that. The next option over here is to schedule a video. With a scheduled video, you can set a date, for example, the 17th of December at five o'clock. Then on the 17th of December at five o'clock, YouTube will automatically flip the state from private to public. When you schedule a video, the video is always private. You can also set a premiere. A premiere is a hybrid between a regular video and a live stream. With this option, you can watch the video together with your audience and chat in the chat. It also means that viewers can't skip ahead in the video. Once the premiere is over, the video will be a regular video on YouTube. To set up a premiere, click on set up premiere. Then you can select over here a countdown theme, for example, contemporary. And that's just the type of video that will play before the premiere starts and then over here you can set the countdown length so now I've set it to five minutes and then the countdown clock starts counting down from five minutes to zero to save click on save and now click schedule personally I always use the schedule function a couple of days before the actual video releases so I gave YouTube enough time to process the video so it will be directly available in a high resolution 